Hola. Good morning. You all right? Beyond Dios. Beyond Dios. Beyond Dios. I, f- I forgot what it is because you keep saying it wrong. <laughs> Beyond Dios, I think. How is everyone on this beautiful day? Oh, everyone's very happy, Mazzy, because England won last night into the oh, quarterfinals I about that. against France. Yeah, I forgot about that. Easy well done, win. boys. Easy win. Yeah, brilliant. Right, we're moving on to Benidorm. Yes, we are. I've got a few things to do first, though. Looking forward to Benidorm. Oh, you um, told me to try out a programme, didn't you? Oh, the Benidorm thing, yeah. Yeah, couldn't get into it. No. Watch one episode. Yeah, it's not for everybody, obviously. I, I like it. It was more about the people, wasn't it? And not, yeah. not, not No, Benidorm. but that's what I was trying to say. It was like a documentary series yeah. following people around. Yeah. I did say that. It was all right. <laughs> I watched one. Yeah, we've got to go over to Lidl. Lidl, get coffee sugar, a okay. couple of essentials, and then a nip down to the front, seafront, and get, get me dressed. Get an ice cream. Get me dressed. <laughs> It wasn't open yesterday, it was Sunday. And I really want it now. <laughs> it's not going to be 50% off today, though, is it? It's going to be... Ugh. Well, I ain't paying full whack. We'll see. Right. Let's go! Yeah, you, are we bringing these? Not to Neto. We're Lidl. coming back after Lidl, aren't we? Oh, OK, yeah. You can come to the dress shop. Ooh, <laughs> oh, how exciting! <laughs> well, if they're going, do I have to come? Yes! Get your shoes on. So we've done Lidl. Yep, done Lidl. Dress shopping. Yeah, we've got to go all the way on the front and hope it's still 50% off and it doesn't open for 20 minutes. No. Bit of advice, when you do come here, stay on our campsite. Do not go on this one. You know, it has got a swimming pool, but it's a bit of a mess. Could do with a bit of tidying up, a few more chairs. That's me funny. Wasn't that, wasn't that funny, <laughs> were it? Take a last look at the rock people here in Calpit. Favourite place ever this has been. Love it. Yeah, very good. Very so you ain't good. got the bill for the campsite yet. <laughs> hey yo. <No. laughs> Should be 20% off now though, shouldn't it? We, we really don't know, do we? No, no. Fingers crossed. Yeah. It is what it is. I would just like to say, you know I'm going for a new look. Yeah. Um, I know the look I'm going for now. Did anyone see the Senegal crowd in the football match last <laughs> night? If you did, you'll know what I'm talking about. That's the look I'm going for. Oh, like Timmy a, Mallet, if you're not getting that one. A bit uh, of Timmy Mallet. Honestly, I want a Sen- <laughs> I was gonna look online for like a Senegal jumper. Was you? Because they were like red, yellow and green, bright. You probably would have got one there at the market the other day, wouldn't you? Possibly. Uh. <laughs> we have no idea how this guy has got away with this. <laughs> um, but he has been parked there since we got here. He might be in one of the apartments. I'm guessing he is in one of the apartments because you do need sort of like a barrier over there. Yeah, he has been coming and going. Oh yeah, he has. No, he's in there. He's got his yeah. skyty shirt. Is he in there? Yeah. But what a place to be, right on the front. <laughs> yeah. Dress shop. It's called Ibiza. Brilliant. It's shut. Don't open for eight minutes. I can't believe I'm wasting eight minutes of my life. Sat on a bench waiting for it to open. Look what you've got to look at. Look, it's our last day at the beach and it's beautiful. I'm really, really going to miss this place. How can you say you're wasting your life, look? It's all right, I suppose. <laughs> Still waiting. She's two minutes late in opening. Yeah, but the lady next door is now opening up, so I'm guessing she was a few minutes late as well. It's just the way they are in well, Spain, they're laid back. She's got 10 minutes. <laughs> hurry up, please hurry up. <laughs> so, Calpe. As we've said, highly, highly recommend it. Yeah, don't miss it. Yeah. And if we do come back to Spain next year, we don't know what we're doing. Um, it'll be a nice place to spend Christmas, we've said, wouldn't yeah. it? Perfect. It's got everything. You can have an yeah. Indian Christmas day. Yeah. 
Yeah, I bet they'd be open as well. Oh yeah, they? they'd open specially for us, Mazza. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that Indian highly recommended as well. Oh, it was delicious, wasn't it? Mm. Glad we got that before we left. And the first time we had it, I did have a stomach ache. You had one last night. Yeah. I haven't had any kind of stomach problem at all, and I normally do after a curry. But yeah. no, I've felt absolutely great. I'm sure <laughs> my breath absolutely stinks, <laughs> even though I've brushed yeah. my teeth. Hey, apartments, Mazzy. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, they're quite expensive, aren't they? I'd say this is like your average price, you know, about 250000 for an apartment to come and live here. Although you can get much cheaper. I still think this must be an expensive area. I do. I think that's quite expensive. Don't you? Well, it depends what you get. Yeah. It looks like a lot of these apartments have like a, a swimming pool to share. You know, they all get to share a swimming pool. Let's take this one, for instance. I mean, it's not fantastic, is it? That's high price, isn't it? No, and that's you'd have a low to price. You'd have to rip all that out, wouldn't you? Well... I wouldn't be happy with that. I don't know about Spain, but in... I know in Germany, you actually yeah. take your kitchen with you and you have to buy a... Do you? You have to buy a brand new kitchen every time you buy a Do house. Do you? Your kitchen is just bare. You've got a gas tap and that's it. Oh, wow. Gosh, that's... Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> weird. Literally packing everything behind the kitchen sink then. Right. Yeah. Right, are they open yet? We need to get off this campsite. Huh? We need to get off this campsite yeah, soon. Yeah, I know. Bear with her. I don't want to bear with her. Bear with me. I don't want to bear with you. I don't want you to be bear with me. <laughs> Ignore Google when it tells you what time a shop's opening. It's 11 o'clock. There's a sign saying 11 o'clock. Why we didn't look on the door in the first place, I don't know. Because you're always right. <laughs> but don't worry, people, don't worry. We've pl got plenty to do and show you. In the meantime, we're off to get some eyelashes for Mazzy. <laughs> I had been wanting to get these all week, though. The glue I need. OK. We're going to get charged an extra day by campsite at this rate. No, we not. <laughs> didn't have any eyelashes. Well, they didn't even know we went to the supermarket. They did have some deodorant, so it wasn't a wasted trip. Yeah. But, apparently, if you come to Spain from now on, you don't say gracias or gracias. You say gracias, thank you. Because that's what Mazzy does every single time. <laughs> gracias, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go see if this dress shop is open, because yeah. I'm getting stressed out now. Oh, relax. It's been nice. No one told me there were a Donna kebab shop there, Mazzy. Oh, yeah. Did you notice that? No. Inside? I didn't know it was there. Right, let's cross over there. <laughs> right, this is getting hilarious now. <laughs> the shop opens in five minutes, and we just saw a girl go up, staring at the dress. Checking her time, waiting Checking for the, the shop time. to open. And then she's just gone and sat on the other bench yeah. where we were sat earlier. <laughs> Mazzy and this woman are both waiting to jump in there and get this dress at 50% off. Oh, they've walked off. They've walked off, Mazzy. Yeah, because she's going to come back. Come back in 10 minutes. Yeah. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Come you on. go down there. They've just walked off down there. They were sat there. <laughs> there's the door. We're watching it, but there's no movement. <coughs> Oh, by the way, if it isn't open by five past, we are definitely off. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Come on. Whoa, I've been to Ibiza. Have you got the other bag, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we got the dress. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, they're happy. Right, I, I didn't realise there were one in the back, Matt. I didn't realise there were two. Yes. So, the one in the window was a small. Yes. The one in the back was a medium, and you wanted yeah. the medium. Yeah. Um, but the one in the back wasn't half price. No, it was half price. It no, was it was 125 euros yeah. reduced to 75. Yeah, that's not half price. That's half price. No, it's not, Mazzy. 50% off? About 40%, 35, 38%. So it still was 75 euros. 75. It was 125 euro dress. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the small one in the window will have been 63. 
should I have been anyway. No, I don't know. Anyway, the fact is, the other girl who was looking for one, she might fit into that small one because yeah. she were a bit skinny, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah. So they'll both be happy. And I was very surprised she was English who yeah. owns the shop. Yeah, proper English. Lovely lady. <laughs> awesome, lovely stuff in there. Oh, yeah. Really Everyone's nice. lovely when you give them 75 euro. <laughs> Anyway, I'm really happy. Right, so we're going to move on. Let's head to Benidorm. Yes. <laughs> you sound really excited. Fish and chips, John Smith, and a kebab. Fry up. Oh, <laughs> All paid up? Yeah. Good price, actually. As I say, I think I worked out about 30 euros, just over 30 euros a night. Yeah. If we were staying for three nights. Yeah. And it's 20 euros 80 by the look of it. Oh, wow. So 160 so for a week. Was we there seven days then? Was yeah. We? It was. Brilliant. So it well worth every penny. Days, yeah. We'd have probably paid more than that. Yeah. If we've got a day free or something like that. Yeah. Right. Brilliant. Very happy. She sounds like she had a cold in there. Oh no. Mm. Ugh, get away from me. Yeah, I think I will do <laughs> services. You are? Oh, okay, yeah. We were a bit unsure because it is a bit awkward, yeah, especially then. Reverse back out again. Yeah, it's the it's getting out, but it's a good service. We'll get our toilets empty, can't we? I don't think we'll bother with the washing of the van. Oh no! But that is a great facility. I've never seen that before. <laughs> right, I'll let you go and do the loo, my dear. Do you want to release water for me? Of course ourselves in a little bit of a pickle and so is he in front of us yes i'm sure like we both sort of just like oh gosh this don't look good <laughs> oh, my, oh god. my god we were both i think trying to get onto the main motorway bit but they were cutting branches off the palm tree so there was like a lorry there yeah and i think we could have actually got past it and gone onto it but he just drove straight past i did exactly the same and it's brought us down this tight little road. Yeah, it's not practical, is it? But <laughs> yeah, we've gone there. If he can do it, I can do it. Yeah. That's the way I'm thinking. If there's going to be an obstacle, he's going to come a cropper first. That's the way I see it. <laughs> hey, look, coming up to our main road now. Yeah, hey, that went so bad, babe. I'm just glad he was first. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't even going to bother following him, were you? You were no. going to turn back. But yeah, we got there. So we're about half an hour away from, um, it's only half an hour to Benidorm. It's actually on the other side of that rock, apparently. All this big rock. Can't wait. Can you, babe? We're gonna hire a scooter together. I'm gonna hire a Donna kebab, some John Smiths, and some fish and chips. And arriving on the far side of Benidorm arrives Dan and Mazzy. Two minutes away from campsite. Quite excited now, are you? Stressed, that were a really bad drive. Yeah, it was Road works. Yeah. Terrible. And, and then... Like um, 20 mile an hour. About 20 kilometres an hour. Yeah, <laughs> and then you had these walky bits every sort of... Every, every, what? 10 yards? Is that small? Is that a small amount? Might be about that much. Are you right? I just want to be there, Mazzy, but we're not allowed to go more than 14 miles per hour. It's ridiculous. Well, you got to, No, it's 20 here, look, darling. No, 20 kilometres, 14 miles per hour. Oh, well, you've got to be careful. It's impossible. Yep, so this is uh, what we're seeing as we're arriving in. We're not actually going to be seeing Benidorm, apparently, up until we get to campsite. Well, it's straight down, it's Benidorm, but... We're parking just up here on the right. There we are, there's our campsite. Just it's barely see the sign. Don't know how we get in. Uh, where that taxi just went in, I think, darling. Is it here? Right. Oh, okay, so at least we've got a few odds and shots and shop, stuff. Yeah, I, I was imagining we weren't going to get anything. Wait for the old boy on the scooter. And the bicyclist. <laughs> well, this looks nice. It's mad here. It's mad, I tell you. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, right, Ivan's met us. Yes. At the reception, they said 
Uh, Ivan's expecting you. He's paid for your first night. Bless you, Ivan. We didn't <laughs> expect that at all. And we've just seen him there and uh, he's told us we might fit round here. We might fit round here. We oh, shall gosh, see. Gosh. If you look at this map, look, there's apparently over 600 pitches. I've never 600 known as many pitches. pitches ever. That's mad, isn't it? Lovely looking swimming pool area, but we'll show you all that later. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting this excited. Is Ivan. Yeah, this is Ivan, the lovely Ivan. You'll get to meet him properly. Look at these lovely old caravans, look. You keep your eye on this map. Oh, look. yeah, yeah. So we're straight down here on the. Straight down, number 52 on the left. 52. Straight down, yeah, num on the left. Now you have to keep going, don't you? No, it's saying beep your horn. Oh, beep the horn. <laughs> well, this is going to be an experience, isn't it? How long are we here for? Three days, three, three nights. nights. Right. Here we are on our pitch. I think it's 10 metres by 10 metres and it's lovely. We're very, very happy. Very, very, very happy. So we've got three days here. I booked it online yesterday and Ivan, bless him, we, it did say uh, come to Benidorm and I said, I don't think we're going to do Benidorm. We might do it on the way back up. So I think we're going to ra run out of time. He says, oh, I'll just come for one night. I'll pay for it. I says, no. And then I, I, I booked it for three nights online. Turned up and reception said, oh, Ivan's paid for one night for you. So we've got a night free. This is Ivan. Now Ivan is going to be, you're going to see him in the videos, but he's not going to be talking. He, you know, he's happy to be in the videos, but he don't want to be oh, right. talk. Say hello. He'll say hello. Just, just say hello, Ivan. I say hello. So they can see your face. It's on the oh, well, scooter, look. Hello, welcome to Benidorm. Yeah, look at his uh, Harley Davidson, by the way. Christmas to you all. Harley Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone rides these in Benidorm, apparently. Oh, you'll see some sites, yeah. So that is our pitch. There is Massive. over 700 pitches here, apparently. 780 odd. It's incredible. Yeah. Now this bottom end, where Ivan is, because he's lived here, yeah, for seven years. Yeah, seven years. Amazing. It used to be a quarry, so it was a big pit. So you imagine how many tons, thousands if not millions of tons they've had to put in that pit to level it out. But they have, and Ivan lives there in a quarry. Right, very interesting story for you here. So, if you look at this mountain up here, you, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it through the GoPro because it's not very zoomed in, but there's a little cutout in the mountain there. That is a giant's mouth. It's known as the sleeping giant. If you can imagine, that's his head and that's his big fat belly and he's asleep, right? So that's a mountain. There's a mountain at the other side as well, which creates like a microclimate here in Benidorm, so you always have sun, even different weather to Calpit, which is only 25 Hot. minutes away. 35 minutes away, yeah. Um, you can see over there, like because the, what happens? The mountains are captured, the clouds. Yeah, the mountains there with the clouds yeah. on. What happens is the clouds with the rain come over, the giant wakes up, grabs the clouds, and he throws them away. <laughs> Something like that. I've just added that little bit. <laughs> that's what makes your blogs different. That's what makes me different. I'm different. <laughs> Shower blocks, brand new, a month old. There's four of them, all new on the campsite. Just check it out. Look at the shower heads you get. That's incredible. And there's, I think, nine in here. Absolutely beautiful, immaculate. You've got air conditioning for summer. How lovely. And about nine, ten toilets on that side, four sinks on there, two urinals, and four more sinks here. Just goes on and on. Very nice, very modern. We just saw a, a big RV turn up, ten metres long, like a bus. And apparently that's as big as you can get on here. here very nice, very nice. I want to see the ladies. Yes, how's that? How's it? Yeah, you go have a look at the ladies. 
uh, waste. You get one of them things at every toilet block. Okay. Uh, your toilet. Toilet uh, emptying, yeah. Uh, wash dishes. On the other side, you can rinse clothes. You'd be absolutely amazed at some of these pictures. You know. You're suggesting I can wash my hands by my clothes by hand? No. Right. On our seasonal pitch at the nurseries, you're not even allowed plants in plant pots. Look at this. It's like a jungle. It's wonderful. And I'm. I, I said no, but I might show you Ivan's pitch um, in a different video. He's just shown me around. It's a little bit bigger than I was, only like a metre or something, metre and a half. But he's got like a man shed. His kitchen is separate outside. It's, it's like a house on a pitch. Washing machines. Well, it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. It's been put in a week ago, this laundry. A week ago, especially yeah. for you, Mazzy. Yep. What's this? That's your ladies. You go have a look. I am loving this. Are you a good looking man? Are you knocking on in years and you've got the gift of the garb? Are you attractive to women? The woman who owns this campsite is single and she owns it all, along with about five hotels. Get here, get to know her. You're sorted for life. Oh, look at that for a few, look. There's a quarry up there, look. Oh yeah, that's, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Indoor swimming pool? Yeah. Apparently it's like a sauna in there, really hot, so that would be nice. You've got a load of bowls or bowling going on. Yeah, you've got all the French. I'm saying French. Why it's what say French? Because it's their sport, isn't it? I don't know. Or playing bo bowls? Bowls? Bowls. Not an even ground though, it's not fair, fair, fair run is it? <laughs> Hello! That's the mall down there. Get in. Oh gosh, yeah, that's hot. Wow, that's hot. Oh my god, that's hot. That is a sauna. That is beautiful. After you do your everything, come up here. Oh, that's so nice. That is nice. You'd want to get in that and then jump in that cold one though, wouldn't you? That's it is cold. really hot in here. That's close to the winter. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Oh. That's only open in the summer months. Oh, I see. Uh, the side the door's open. The side the oh. the side yeah. open. Right. That side's open. Oh, we've got to get out, it's too hot. <laughs> it's hot, isn't it? Ooh, but, but, but once you get into the water, it's lovely. <laughs> Apparently, oh. they're going to build an Aldi here. Yes, an Aldi. I'll show you. I can show you. Going to build oh, an Aldi. So she's good, the woman who owns it, the who you need to marry there. if you can. Um, that would be terrible. She's letting them build an Aldi there. Near yeah. me, you see? Uh -huh. There's your outdoor pool. Very That's nice. Annoying. That's closed for winter, but you can use the indoor one. Up we go. This must be the restaurant area, has it? Yep. Mm. Restaurant. Yeah, free tapas. Free tapas, and you can see them all. There's about eight of them over there. There's more it's than that. It's massive. <laughs> so you've got one balcony on that side, and you've got tables on this side. So depending where the sun is, and whether you want sun or not, take your pick. Yeah, this is good, isn't it? Oh. Like During the afternoon, you have the sun. Yeah. Plus, at three o'clock, four o'clock on, they have music in the bars across the street. Um, ah, the so this is the main road. We did notice this. We were thinking, you know, Benidorm's like a 20 minute walk and we're going to be stuck in the middle of nowhere, but there is so many little karaoke sports bar, karaoke quiz, live music, steakhouse. Guess what this restaurant might say? Let's get, give, get our viewers to put it down in the comments. What, Dilly Gaff? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. Put it in the comments what you think it might mean. What does Dilly Gaff mean? I'll tell you off camera in a minute. Is it rude? <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So that's a bit of a, 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 a tour of the campsite. We're now going for something to eat. Chinese, is it? Chinese. 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 
actually getting very hungry now. Are you hungry? Not really, but... Oh, that's a really bad smell of toilets. <laughs> Someone's... Um, is that the toilet disposal point or something? It stinks. Caravan site we were on because I don't think we actually told them because I didn't know what it was called. It's well, it says Racco, but Racco. it's El Racco. El Racco here in Benidorm. 780 pitches odd. <laughs> wow, it's massive, isn't it? It's it definitely the biggest, the biggest campsite we've ever been absolutely, on, absolutely. Yeah, um, but the pitches themselves are actually They're pretty massive. big. I think yeah. it's 80 square meters. Not 100% sure on that. 80 square meters, which is a, a good size because a lot of them are only like 60, 60 to 70. I don't know. So but we're happy it with is that. Massive, yeah. Can you remember the sexy campsite owner I wanted about who's single? Uh, she owns this hotel here and there's a tennis court on the roof. Um, so, honest, as I've said earlier, if you are a good looking bachelor, with a good sense of humour and you reckon you can swear this woman you are going to be set up for life the woman's loaded and single <laughs> you ain't met her i am i don't need to meet her i know she's a catch <laughs> that closes i need to tell you i need to tell you i am literally literally 150 meters away from a can of john smith iceland iceland Literally 150 meters away from a John Smith's. Can you smell and we're walking it? straight past it. <laughs> I can smell the green can, Mazzy. I can smell it. Oh, dear Just being told, which I find fascinating, I've never heard this on any beach anywhere in my life. Apparently, it is against the law to smoke on the beach in Benidorm. So remember that, you get a 50 euro fine if you do because uh, apparently, you know you have like a, I don't know what you call them, like a, a sweeper for the beach and they were clogging, there were that many people smoking on the beach, they were clogging up the machines and they've literally banned smoking. Not, not for health reasons, not to, not because you're polluting other people or anything simply because it was clogging up all the machines so if you come to benidorm and you smoke do not smoke on the beach or you will get fined i find that fascinating i really do and a good idea good idea for all you people who were wondering how my animal exotic animal attack in the spanish bar is going on it's still very, very sore, believe Christmas it or not. Opens at Christmas. I keep putting germaline on it. Boxing Day. The circus. What are we looking at? This is better than the palace. Where's the palace? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah, we're the palace. Oh. The circus there. Look, we've got the Beatles, the Boxing Day. Circus. If you're here on the 26th, Boxing Day, there's a tribute Beatles band. That's nice. Uh, can you help me carry these bags? Mm. I'm struggling. Nah. And there's a palace here somewhere. <laughs> so what is the palace? Oh, so it's like a, a concert hall. Yes, it's an auditorium. So it's not a palace. No. The it's like it's like a Skegness. It's like a, it's like a theater in London. Theater. Yeah. Okay. Right. With table lamps on the tables. I was like London Palladium. Inside London like Palladium. Palladium. I, I did. Yes. I, I looked on Google Maps and I noticed our campsite is next to Benidorm Palace. So I got quite excited, but yeah, it's just a, like a big cinema stroke theatre. A huge one, an exciting one, but it's not a pal. All right, I'll carry it for you. I'll carry it. So this is the theatre, Benidorm Palace, shaped like a ship like the titanic see the funnel up there and this is who's on you've got whitney houston you've got the tribute beatles band you haven't got boys on or westlife you've got boys life it's a mixture of both sure queen i can imagine there's some bon jovi i can imagine it's a good night 
There is one big sightseeing place in Benidorm. It's like a hill where you can look down over the whole of Benidorm. It's like the highest point. A lot of people go up there. We won't be doing it. It's like a mile walk uphill or something. It's up there. You can't see it. You see this skyscraper? It's just to this side of it on the hill. There's a cross up there. And that's supposedly the best view of Benidorm. It's also a very, very popular place to go and have your ashes spread. So there's a lot of uh, people do that. He's on the list. He said that's what he wants. I can think of worse places to uh, have yourself scattered once you've gone. Gone, can't you? Just to give you a weather update, we are in the shade here actually, but uh, this is a good indication. So it is just coming up to four o'clock, 15, 59, and it's 18 degrees. Don't get me wrong, it's not hot. We're not overly warm, but I am in a short sleeve shirt. None of us have got coats on. It's acceptable. It's the wind what's a bit cold. But uh, at the end of the day, it's better than in England at the moment, isn't it? I watched something the other day saying the first two weeks of December is going to be the coldest two weeks in Britain since 2010. They want to see Benidorm, they don't want to see you. No, they want to see me, Mazzy. Three friends sports bar over there. Look, we've got loads of supermarkets and stuff. Is this where we're going? I think you'll find, Mazzy. They want to know the weather. They're in England. Okay, They're in Britain. Pride. You're rubbing it in. You're Yorkshire Pride. Come, Dad's country. Oh. Yorkshire Pride. Oh, there's at the minute. So that is premium. Lovely place to go to. This is cool, babe. Rock That's and roll cool. house. So it's a cafe. Yeah. And it's all free. All free. Never heard of them. I like this one. There, there, there. There's my song. Rock around the clock. 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Shaking Stevens, Elvis, status quo. Okay. There's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Oh, wow. So every hour you've got a different act? Oh, that's ridiculous. So you can come here on a Monday and watch status quo, Shaking Stevens an hour later, Dalton, don't know who he is, rock and roll at 11, and at midnight it's just a bit of everything. So you've got five massive acts. You've got Eagles, Neil Diamond. That's good. That's good. They have literally gone about 100 metres away since I started filming that. I'll have to catch them up. So I don't know how that works. Do you go in for free? Or do you have to pay an admission? You must have to pay an admission fee. Yeah, sorry, I, I was busy trying to film that up there, but I turned round and you were all a hundred metres away from me. Okay. Oh. Oh. So there's the... Oh, no. So as you know, Mazzy struggles with walking and toilets and stuff. We thought we were going round corner for a Chinese. It has been about a 20 minute walk, but I'll tell you what, it's been a nice walk. It's been an eye opener seeing all these different places, and we are here. We'll just walk past the English breakfast takeaway and I'm guessing this is it, Restaurant China Garden. You've got the Red Lion across the road. Yeah, yeah so give us your 100%. There we go, it absolutely smells yeah. nice. There's Pat's, um, what is this, a Sizzler prawn sizzler? Yeah. A portion of chips, which just looks like curry sauce. Oh, curry sauce, yep. Yeah. Well, that is huge. <laughs> uh, dance fried rice, which is massive compared to the others. And there's your Chicken Kung Po, look at that. 
Yeah. That is the best I've ever seen in my life. It smells good. Something smells good here. That's a big bowl That'll of meat sauce in it, right? <laughs> oh, it's not coming out enough. Oh, nope. here we go. Give it a good tap on the table. Oh wow. Oh, oh ginger. Yeah. That's my ginger. Pocos spicy ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is it? Uh, pork with uh, spicy, spicy ginger. sauce, spicy sauce and ginger. And there's Mazzy's chicken chow mein. Yeah, I've got to swap the pepper, that one ain't working. With the curry <laughs> sauce, you've still got sweet and sour sauce to come, I think. Yes, because I didn't realise how big this was going to be. You're destroying them chips. Well, I tell you here, you can take it back to the motorhome. They will put it in a container. I can't get over how good mine looks. Yes, you can take back. Now, Pat has gone for... It's, it's, just it's like a shrimpy prawn sizzling amazing thing. Yeah. It's not what Pat wanted. She wanted frogs. Because apparently. <laughs> so, no. Where she comes from? So so frog. So I mean, so so frog. went over to Thailand and her mother got a bag of something. Well, she went to the and it turned up and it was like 20 baby frogs in a bag and they were all jumping they, all over. In a goldfish bag. bag. Yeah. But that's the closest we can do in this Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Enjoy. So this is where we just ate. Restaurant China Garden. Betty Dorm Front is that way. Racco, El Racco campsite is that way. Red Lion is there. Highly, highly recommend this. Fantastic food. Um, the best Kung Po I've ever had. Actually, had a kick to it. Spicy. Which it was really you just nice. don't get in Chinese food. Yeah, it was really nice. Even my chow mein wasn't. You know, I'm really fussy with my chow, my chow mein, but it was nice. And I've even taken takeaways. Taken it home, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know how in you can get curry so Chinese curry sauce. I got that. In England, it's just like fish and chip shop curry sauce. It's mild. There's no kick to it, but Kung Po in there has a kick to it. That was lovely. And the staff were beautiful. The uh, owner, the woman, yeah. just a, a constant smile on her face. Yeah. And we were just saying when we came out. <laughs> She's so genuine. There was no lovely. fakeness in that smile. Yeah. She wasn't just trying to be, hello, thanks for coming. Thank you. She was yeah. genuinely a very smiley, yeah. happy woman. That was good. Right, we better get out. Don't get me wrong, you do get the odd dropouts you've got to be careful, you know, hanging around outside. You've got to be careful of that, you know, these people. Uh, what do they call them? The the pee men. The pee men. You're going to carry my bag? I'd love to. <laughs> yes. So that was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful meal. That was so good. Wonderful yeah. day. Tiring day. We, we actually Knackered. walked about five miles today. I'd say more than that now. More than that now. Do you want to know how many steps we've done? Well, it's not a lot to everyone mm. else, but it's 11,650, which means then five I've and a half miles. Which means then I've done 12, same amount of miles as me. 12,500 steps. Five and a half miles we've done today. Free calendar. <laughs> Free calendar. From the Chinese. Yay. Get in. I was Get upside in. down, it's upside down. But yeah, it's been tiring. That were a wonderful meal. It really yeah, were a nice Chinese. Nice, yeah. So we're calling it a day. I think it's yep. probably a bit shorter than his normal videos. Yeah, but you know, considering and it might we've be been later as well. Considering we've been travelling <clears> today, we're lucky to get anything up today, aren't we? So which we might not yet. So let's just uh, end this, <laughs> yeah. and then we can start editing, and we can get it on. Yes. And then wake up bright, fresh. Yep, we've got plans in the tomorrow. morning. We're getting on the bus. It's all planned. That's the only plan. Get on the bus. I don't know, but I'm not walking no more. <laughs> I can't walk no See more. See you all tomorrow. Love you lots. Bye-bye. I bye. am not walking no more.